Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part one of the Premier League jersey review. It has been a long time. I actually wanted to do this uh, first before the La Liga one. But then I finally found a Manchester United shirt for really cheap. You saw the unpacking video. Here it is and I think it makes this background a lot better. I basically I need a Manchester City shirt and I know exactly the one I want to have but unfortunately yeah, not yet there. Uh, so then I think I would have the perfect background here for any Premier League video. I think for Serie A I'm pretty good, for La Liga I can be still a little bit better because I have only four teams, but you know I'm getting there. Serie A, I think I'm gonna do Serie A next and then we're gonna look at Bundesliga and uh, Liga, uh, but let's see how it will go. Um, how am I gonna do it? Well, the same as La Liga. I first of all, I'll be wearing for every jersey, uh, for every jersey review part, I will wear a national team jersey and I'll keep those jerseys up there. I mean, except for the two away shirts for Liverpool and Chelsea, these are all the Premier League jerseys that I have. So I actually I really like this background. It's pretty cool. Also, um, this time around I didn't. If you noted my uh, La Liga review. I tried to keep Barcelona and Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid kind of apart. Same thing with Valencia and Barcelona. Here I didn't do. I mean, all the London teams are in the middle here. Red, red, red. So that's a little bit more contrast. I think, to me, rivalries in Spain are more serious because it's more, more of a matter of life and death uh, than in England. Okay, so I'm gonna wear national team jerseys. Um, I've decided today I'm gonna wear a white one. I think uh, for the next one I will wear the red one and then we'll switch it up. I have only two, so you will see each one twice. I also split again the teams to kind of keep the top teams a little bit apart. And this time we have uh, the top six. I'll show you four. We have six. Uh, top top teams, so I cannot really split them in f uh, four parts and have one top team in each. But at least uh, the top four from last season each will be the kind of seeded teams in each video. I'll try my do, do my best to have them in my thumbnails. You better be in the top four to earn a thumbnail in my videos. And then I'm again splitting. The next four will be split up on the four uh, videos. The next four split up and so on and so on. And if you notice a pattern, one, two, three, four uh, in the videos. One, uh, one, three, four. Then I do eight, seven, six, five, and then nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so on and so forth. However, I don't keep the order of the ranking in the video. Within the video, I'll do it alphabetically to keep everyone confused and it seems completely random, which it is not. And I've been talking a lot and I think we should get going. I will run through the jerseys tell you what I think about each one of those and then I'll give you a grade uh, that I my personal grade at the end I will ask you drop a comment below leave me your grade for these jerseys or tell me whether you agree or even disagree with me I'd be ha very happy to see that but enough of the talking three and a half minutes just blabble let's get to it and we'll start in my first part the first team that we'll be reviewing is Brighton and Hove Albion uh, yeah, the biggest team <laughs> to start at first. Um, I they use this Nike temple. I think um, Schachter Donetsk and Eintracht Frankfurt had something similar last season, where um, you kind of you have the stripes, but they're a little bit uh, freshened up by a certain pattern. You you know you get your blue and white striped jersey. I actually like the width of the uh, the stripes better than I did last year when they just had I think two stripes down and that was that. So I do like that a little bit better. Um, I'm not sure about the accent color orange for the swoosh, but you know it fits with the beak of the seagull. So I think I can live with it. Also the American Express sponsor has to break up the um, stripes. You know I don't like it. I really wish that we would see fully striped jerseys, but I don't think we'll see this anytime soon again, especially since how would you be able to read the sponsor otherwise? Um, I would love it if the sponsor kind of did not come only as a word mark, but had kind of a shield or something. Uh, that would look cleaner in my opinion, but you know, that's just me. But now let's get to the big thing. I like the striping, but I'm not so sold that we have the stripes 
go from blue to black to blue again. Also, uh, the raglan sleeves are unicolor. I really wish that those were also striped. We know also that the back we have, uh, I think, a big white box there. I know, UEFA regulations say something different. Uh, at least they threaten to do something different. So overall, I think the jersey looks all right. I'm not so sure about the black. And yeah, where shall I go with this one? Um, I think it's interesting enough that I can give this seven stars. Now, uh, the away jersey is black, monochromatic with gray sleeves. A little bit uninventive. <laughs> in, in a way, you know, nothing against black jerseys and since the home jersey is kind of light, that's all right. But um, I think the crest in black is kind of, it sucks out in a way all the life. Although I don't mind the seagull on the white background here in black. Still, that's just something, that's just some livelihood missing in that one. Uh, is it a bad jersey? No. I mean, the gray sleeves, I'm not a big fan of gray in general, um, but yeah. I think I give this, it's not bad, it's just middle of the park, five stars. And uh, in some, on some occasions they even reused the green jersey from last season. Now I don't know how, what stars I gave, so you can check with me how consistent I am. It's the same jersey, it has the kind of the 2016 template color, green. Yeah, all right. I would say it's a six star jersey. It gives a little bit color, but I'm not sure if how it fits in there. I do like that they used a the full colored crest on there. <coughs> but other than that, yeah, nothing special. It has also a camouflage uh, pattern in there. Next up, we have our first sort of biggish team. You know, uh, Everton used to be a big team in the 80s, but I uh, have not been really back. I mean, uh, they would have the potential. Uh, they, of course, play in a blue jersey, but unlike last year, where they had really a very classic looking jersey, now it's a little bit more going into the 90s and, you know, having Umbro in there. Uh, they decided on doing some little branding with uh, some diamonds on the upper side. Basically, you get your blue jersey, that's fine. I, the crest, I like a lot. I like also, even with the white band and so on, it really looks fine. Um, collar looks a little bit odd if I see. I mean, uh, you know, it's cut here and then it gets a little bit thicker around. Uh, kind of a little bit, uh, <laughs> it looks like a turtle shell in a way. But also, nothing bad. Sleeve cuffs, you have a little bit wider white here, also fine. But what about that pattern on the chest? Um, first of all, on the shirt is per definition already top heavy. You have here the sponsor, you have the two logos. Um, why do you put all the patterning only on the top where it's kind of hidden? I think uh, either make it go all over or focus it on the bottom. I think that I would like a little bit better. And second, why? Why? Um, it doesn't look in any way appealing to me. I know it's a piece of branding, but you know, having blue and light blue and a dark blue blackish thing it looks so. It looks really weird. It's not a very appealing jersey to me, honestly. And I guess I'm gonna give this just uh, four stars. Sorry, Everton. I think you really had a nice jersey last year. I think the best thing is the Angry Birds uh, sleeve sponsor, and that says a lot. Uh, so yeah, uh, the away jersey at Everton, I'm really sorry, I think last year I slammed your away jerseys as well. Um, you're going with, uh, you know, in Spain we had a lot of green jerseys as an away jersey. Now we will see, we will see quite a host of pink jerseys and I think even in this video already. Here we go with this peachy pink color with slanted shadow striping that is fading in and out, creating a really weird effect. And then the whole thing is a little bit in navy blue accentuated. Nope, 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 nope. I think if the shadow pattern was not uh, with this fade in addition, I think I might like this better because but this is just, it's a little bit too much. And in addition, uh, in the first away game, it did not provide contrast enough to the home jersey so that the third jersey needed for, for last season needed, needed to be selected. So this is another fail for that. I 
I cannot go higher than three stars with that one. Speaking of the third jersey, it's just the reused one from last season. I gave you a big review there. I just, I like the idea with having kind of the tower also in there, but it's just way too messy. Since it has been used this season already, I include it here and I gave it last time four stars and I will stick with the four stars here. Moving on. No, we're still not at City. The next one is Leicester, which unlike Everton, I mean, similar to Everton, I, sh I, sh I should say, but I have to think that Leicester has more of a chance of moving up into the upper echelon um, because I think they did quite well after becoming champions. They haven't retained many players from that squad, but I think um, it gave them enough money. They recouped a lot of money that they can actually now... Uh, build a team themselves so i'm very curious of how leicester will do i bemoaned last year they switched to adidas now we're back um adidas uses the same uh, blue with gold that we have i think ever since they became champions uh the only difference now is that they have white pants again uh, which i don't rate in this the overall jersey yes it's a template again i like the blue with the gold i think it looks nice especially when you consider that the fox in the center of the crest also is kind of kind of goldish and it also fits nicely with the sponsor so um because you have the golden crown on there and that actually makes for an overbalanced look and since you were once champions, yes, you can use the gold, but you know, I'm always careful with the usage of gold um, in there. I think Leicester just about gets away with it. The big thing is, of course, the um, shadow pattern as a checkerboard uh, pattern looks all right. I think it's a decent enough uh, shirt that I think it look, I, I could say it's a pretty good looking shirt overall. Uh, is it something special? No, but it's pretty darn darn good. I think I'll go with it the same as Brighton and give it seven stars. Uh, there is a little bit of visual interest with the jacket pattern um, and it has a certain look for it, but uh, it doesn't have an element that really puts it beyond the seven stars. Not much that I can say for the weight jersey. What did I say? Pink. And this is the Germany jersey from the World Cup in pink. I um, said it already when we talked about Algeria at the AFCON, uh, the German jersey is now team wear, so basically a template, and I don't like it. Um, it looks weird. And then pink, and then the darkish pink stripes, and then black on it. It's a lot to take in. I know, and this is my theory, I think the pink is there to attract a female uh female fans to buy jerseys because for some reason uh, they think that they don't want to wear the team colors and while I agree that once in a while you can wear the pink jersey um, I think most real fans would want to have a team color I know it from the NHL when Reebok became sponsored in 2007 the, with the women's jersey were all pink versions of the home jersey and there was a big outcry and they had to after three years release all the jerseys also in uh, women's and got rid of the pink jerseys so yeah uh, that I think is the reasoning behind it do I like it I don't I really don't and I think that this pattern I know it sounds stupid but this is so iconic Germany don't use it as a team wear I'm sorry to say so for that reason I'm gonna go with a three star here I don't even like the pink black and so on although you know Lasko also has this now there I'm a little bit forgiving because I guess the sponsor is not pink. I don't know. Here, I honestly don't like it. And the third jersey is black, which doesn't provide much contrast to the blue, but for a black jersey, it looks nice. It again uses another template, the famous Tiro template. Here, the gold crown is a little bit lost. I think if this would be all white, it would look pro, probably nicer. It's your average run of the mill. Uh, jersey I'm gonna give this five stars it's just lack of imagination just take a take a template smack on a crest smack on the sponsor and that's you have your Leicester jersey if you get the sponsor and the crest somewhere uh, in spares you probably can get it for cheaper if you do it yourself just saying okay finally the big team the seeded team Manchester City switch to Puma a uh, move that has been widely rumored for a long time and now became reality. I think uh, Pep started wearing Puma gear starting at the beginning of this year already, something like that. So it was pretty clear it was coming. 
And Puma did something special. Um, first of all, I think the first jersey that we have to talk about is the first jersey they wore, which is the centennial jersey for Manchester City, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, yes, it's boring. <laughs> uh, from a designer's point of view, but it's awesome from a tradition point of view. You just have your light blue jersey, you have the new crest on there, uh, which kind of looks similar to the old crest, not quite, but uh, very similar. And then you have a white collar and that's that. It's absolute beauty. I think if I would want to have one uh, light blue Manchester City shirt, that would be the one, of course, those are uh, really expensive, but I really, really like that one. That, right off the bat, I give a 10 stars. And that's my first 10 stars that I give out this season. It just looks gorgeous. Now, for the regular home jersey, as I said, uh, Puma did something uh, different. They used their Puma, uh, comma Puma template. Uh, Use the light blue that we have, but then the accent color is not white or black as it used to be as of late. No, purple. So we have the sponsor in purple, we have the Puma cat in purple, we have the sleeve sponsor in purple, and uh, most importantly, we have the form strap in purple. And it looks weird, honestly. It's not necessarily a bad combination, but it to me, it just looks plain weird. Um, I like that they try something different but I don't think it really, really works. Uh, do they say 125 years? So it was not necessarily a centenary shirt before, but you know, forgive me. Uh, it's kind of an anniversary shirt. So they're celebrating 125 years. Um, going back to the purple, not too fond overall of it, uh, but I'm gonna give this, I mean, it still passes somehow the smell test. I give this uh, six stars. It's something a little bit different. Uh, the away jersey, and boy do I miss the away jersey from last year. I really want to have the away jersey. That would be the one that I would love to hang here and then have, you know, have my uh, seven Premier League jerseys of all the top six teams. One's one, and then I have Newcastle, which is actually the team I like most in a way, but they are a mess this year. Leicester I would like to have too. Everton, West Ham, yeah, you know, I can go on. Anyway, I want to have the Man City away jersey from last year. Um, this one doesn't look that bad either, but um, I think it goes uh, almost too back with colors. First of all, uh, the main, the base is black, and then you have the light blue on the crest, and you have it on one sleeve cuff, you have it on the uh, sleeve sponsor, so that's nice. But then you use a peach and a yellow. Um, yes, it's in a way, everything pops, but it's a little bit too much, and I also don't like that only on the right shoulder you have this pattern, kind of uh, creates a sort of imbalanced look. I don't want to say it's a bad look overall. I mean, I l <sighs> it's really hard to say. Uh, but uh, it is probably the best jersey that Man City has this season. It's again the away jersey. But it just is not, you know, it tries to connect, as we'll see, it tries to connect the home and the third jersey and puts all the colors in there except for the purple. Still, I think it's a decent enough jersey that I can give this seven stars, but um, a little bit less color might have been better. Uh, then uh, we would be talking eight, nine, if there was a little bit more consistency there. Uh, and speaking of color, yeah, Pep probably played his influence. This is, is it a reversal of a Barcelona jersey in 2012, 13, 13, 14, something like that. They had something similar, but I think it was orange on top and yellow on the bottom. This is, Neon yellow um, fading into peach, and then we have a black color, black sponsor. Nah, not with me. And a full colored crest <laughs> to add to the madness. And I really don't like uh, monochromatic crests. I really don't. I really prefer the full color, but if there's already so many colors on there, it gets a little bit much. I'm sorry. I don't like it. This is just a two star jersey. He really cannot go higher. Well, unfortunately for the last team, the jerseys don't get better. We go to Southampton, and Southampton already had last year a weird look, and Under Armour seemingly wants to knock it out of, out of the park with bad jerseys. This Southampton jersey is, the home jersey is an absolute mess. Um, 
you have the red and white stripes that you would expect from the saint, uh, saints, but they're very white stripes and they have this radiating pattern in the white. All right, why do we have the black shoulder yoke? I don't know. The logo is oversized and I know it's a designed logo by fans and so on uh, that connects, but I always find it really funny. The scarf, I think I can live with, the soccer ball and then the halo over it, I don't know. But to really kill this jersey, I mean already black shoulder yoke for me is really hard, hard to digest. Uh, also how the uh, armpits kind of interfere with another white stripe. But what really ruins this jersey is the sponsor. I'm sorry, huge and doesn't fit the color scheme at all. These are some of the worst jerseys in England this season. Um, they're an abomination, in my opinion. And if, do I want to say that this is the ugliest jersey? It's close there. I don't know what saves it. Maybe that those colors are my favorite colors. Red, white and black and for that reason I'm only give this two stars or really want to dish out one star. But I think I'm gonna stay with two stars there. The away jersey for Southampton. A little bit better still with the shoulder yoke and now we have kind of a really weird fade pattern in there and then a sponsor that doesn't do anything. Um, also not a good jersey. The white is a little bit better, makes it a little bit more bearable that we have this weird pattern up there. So for that reason, uh, three stars. And then the third jersey, yeah, uh, same. We just have it now in black with yellow. I wonder where the yellow is coming from. Um, a similar mess. I don't like it. Especially the, the sponsor really kills Southampton. I think Southampton is one of the worst looking teams this season. And the, and I'm saying this despite them having an Austrian coach. I'm also going to give this only two stars. I really don't like this. Well, let me know what you thought about all these jerseys that, that, that I just showed you. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment below. As I said, I want to hear what you think about this jersey and what do you think about my ratings. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel that you get the notification when part 2, 3 and 4 come out. And I will talk to you soon then. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!